guys, Felicia White here. Today I'm continuing my series on the book, The Power by Rhonda Byrne, and we're on part four. So I will begin by saying you're a feeling being. From the moment you were born, you are always feeling something, and so is every other person. You can stop your conscious thoughts when you're sleeping, but you can never stop feeling, because to be alive is to feel life. You are feeling being to the core of you, and so it's no accident that every part of your human body is created so you can feel life. You have the sense of sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch so that you can feel everything in life. They are feeling senses because they enable you to feel what you see, feel what you hear, feel what you taste, feel what you smell, and touch. Your entire body is covered with a fine layer of skin, which is a feeling organ, so you can feel everything. How you feel in any one moment is more important than anything else because how you feel right now is creating your life. Your feelings are the fuel. Your thoughts and words have no power at all in your life without your feelings. You think so many thoughts in a day that don't amount to anything because many of your thoughts don't elicit a strong feeling within you. It's what you feel that matters. Imagine your thoughts and words as being like a rocket ship and your feelings as the fuel. A rocket ship is a stationary vehicle that can't do anything without fuel because the fuel is the power that lifts the rocket ship. It's the same with your thoughts and words. Your thoughts and words are vehicles that can't do anything without your feelings because your feelings are the power of your thoughts and words. If you think, I can't stand my boss, that thought is expressing a strong negative feeling you have about your boss and you're going to give out that negative feeling. As a consequence, your relationship with your boss will continue to get worse. If you think, I work with some fabulous people in my job, those words are expressing the positive feeling you have about the people you work with and you're giving out that positive feeling. As a consequence, your relationships with your work colleagues will continue to get better. Good and bad feelings. Like everything else in life, your feelings can be either positive or negative. You have good feelings or bad feelings. All good feelings come from love. And all negative feelings come from a lack of love. The better you feel, like when you feel joyful, the more love you give out. And the more love you give, the more you receive. The worse you feel, like when you feel despair, the more negativity you give out. And the more negativity you give, the more negativity you receive back in life. The reason you feel so bad with negative feelings is because love is the positive force of life. And negative feelings don't have much love in them. The better you feel, the better life gets. The worse you feel, the worse life gets until you change how you feel. When you feel good, your thoughts are automatically good too. You cannot feel good and have negative thoughts at the same time. Likewise, it's impossible for you to feel bad and have good thoughts at the same time. How you feel is an exact reflection, a precise measure to the finest degree of what you're giving out in any moment. When you feel good, you don't have to be concerned about anything else because your thoughts, words, and actions will be good. Simply by feeling good, you are guaranteed to be giving love and all of that love must come back to you. Good means good. Most people understand how it feels to feel good or really bad, but don't realize they are living with negative feelings a lot of the time. People think that feeling bad means feeling extreme negativity, such as sadness, grief, anger, or fear. And while feeling bad does include all those feelings, negative feelings come in many degrees. If you feel okay most of the time, you may think that feeling okay is a positive feeling because you don't feel really bad. If you've been feeling really bad and you now feel okay, then most certainly feeling okay is far better than feeling really bad. But feeling okay most of the time is a negative feeling because feeling okay is not feeling good. Feeling good means feeling good. Good feelings mean you're happy, joyful, excited, enthusiastic, or passionate. When you're feeling okay, average, or you're not really feeling anything much at all, then your life will be okay, average, or not much at all. That is not a good life. Good feelings mean you feel really good, and feeling really good is what brings a really good life. When you're feeling joyful, you are giving joy, and you'll receive back joyful experiences, situations, and people wherever you go. From the smallest experience of your favorite song playing on the radio to bigger experiences of receiving a pay raise, all of the circumstances you experience are the law of attraction responding to your feeling of joy. 
When you're feeling irritated, you're giving irritation and you'll receive back irritating experiences, situations, and people wherever you go. From the small irritation of a mosquito to the bigger irritation of your car breaking down, all of these experiences are the law of attraction responding to your irritation. Every good feeling unites you with the force of love because love is the source of all good feelings. Feelings of enthusiasm, excitement, and passion come from love. And when you feel any of them consistently, they give you a life filled, filled with enthusiastic, exciting, and passionate things. You can harness the power of a good feeling to the fullest by turning up its volume. To turn up the volume of a feeling, take charge of it and deliberately intensify it so you feel as good as you can. To amplify enthusiasm, revel in the feeling of enthusiasm. Milk the feeling for all that you can by feeling it intensely. When you feel passion or excitement, revel in those feelings and intensify them by feeling them as deeply as you can. The more you amplify your good feelings, the greater the love you give. And the results you will receive back in your life will be nothing short of spectacular. When you're feeling any good feeling, you can also amplify it by looking for things you love. Before sitting down to write this book, each day I spent several minutes amplifying my good feelings. To amplify my good feelings, I thought about all the things I love. I counted the things I love nonstop, one, th one after another. My family, friends, home, flowers in the garden, the weather, colors, situations, events, and things that I love that happened during the week, month, or year. I kept listing everything I love in my mind until I felt amazing. Then I sat down to write. It's as easy as that to amplify your good feelings, and you can do it anywhere at any time. So that concludes part four of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Go ahead and like, share, and comment below. And be sure to click on the link below to grab your copy of The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.